Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 3 with me, Break It Down. <laughs> Let's check out the Glitter Gala after we pick up this fruit. Can carry me. Out for restocking. We'll return shortly if I can find any more stock. Downstairs, the Glitter Gala. Upstairs, the Chromatic Scale. Opportunity to work with a Master Artisan. Dear May Amatola, I'm a Master Artisan from El Toro, recently uprooted from my home due to circumstances beyond my control. Perhaps you've heard of me. I have certainly heard of you. I've wanted to visit your fine establishment for years now. And I'm delighted to finally have the opportunity. You see, I believe this unfortunate turn of events in my life could prove richly fortuitous for yours. I believe there is a gap in the market here for work such as my own. Permit me to descend upon you with a small sample, and perhaps entice you with the possibility of establishing myself as a resident jeweler. I look forward to meeting you in person. Yours, Elswin Glimrock. You need to hear this. Dearest Thomas, it has been too long and what adventures I've had. I look forward to telling you all about them in the Elf Song when I'm back. But in the meantime, I met this Janny trader on my travels who put me onto a rare metal they call Pyrohydrum. They make pipes out of them. Now, pipes are all well and good, but I'm fairly sure that in your hands, this material would make the most exceptional flute. You see, it heats up the very air that's blown through it while it's being played, which makes for a sonorous and grandose timber, the likes of which I have never heard. I have a bag of ores here for you to sample when I'm back. I cannot wait to hear what you make of it. All my love, if Eric. If was so clever, how'd he end up dead? Asking that. Upstairs, chromatic scale. The finest purveyors of musical instruments in Faerun. Well, I'm curious what I missed. I'll have to go grab Astarian and see. Alright, Amatola. Drab attire, lackluster skin. My darling, you need my gems. They'll brighten even a ghoul like yourself. Or, if you are the practical sort, I also stock enchanted stones. They're almost as magical as myself. That's quite the sales pitch. <laughs> I'm glad we can say something. Did you just call me a ghoul? A skeleton would be more accurate. You have good bones, darling. You just need decoration. And you're in the right place. What use do I have with gems? Darling, we're on this plane but for a blink of the eye. Why not get a little luxurious? Show me what you have. Remember, a life without glitter is no life at all. Take care now. I should just have a hatch behind her. Uh, let's try to 
New merchandise from Arm, Cormier, and even Fardamara, all brought here to glisten before your gaze. Try to keep her distracted. Welcome back, my darling. Oh, she doesn't care if we take the portrait either. All right, let's get to work. Cannot always go in plain sight. been caught in the act so much for the perfect crime all right uh drop the item what was taken is i was just a pair anyway all right uh wind fresh water i guess we'll talk to her in a moment I wonder if I get mad if I try to read the book. The Glitter Gala, Glittering Baldur's Gate for over 20 years. A brochure featuring several of the city's patriarchs wearing Amatola's gems. On the front page is a detailed drawing of a large and ornate wedding ring. Underneath are the words designed by the Glitter Gala, missioned by Lady Ferelia Janeth. Hey, you're welcome to leave now. Someday I will sit down. I mean it. I right, fine, I guess we'll talk to her next. Never trusted the Steel Watch, and with Gortash dead, who's controlling them? If the Steel Watch couldn't protect Lord Gortash from assassins, what good are they? Ugh. Well, they did put up a decent fight. So I'd like to get into this other stuff, but I don't know how feasible that is with my current party. I may need a Starion for that. I've read that. Pretty sure I've read this one as well. Even traders have private property. It seems that item is not for sale. All right, let's talk to him, I guess. Thomas C. Porcilius. A customer. Come, Docker. You look like someone who knows their way around a lute. Or perhaps you enjoy the drums. Flute? No. Liar. I'm not much of a musician. Oh. Well, no matter. My instruments make the most splendid of gifts. I'm sure you'll find something for even the most contrary of bards. He's a really cool looking dragonborn. Now let me see your wares. Oh, it does have, I guess, magic, or at least unique instruments. Adastriot's Piccolo. This petite flute engraved with drow sigils is said to have belonged to Captain Drostiolt of the Spelljammer Flitter, Ervan's Clutch. Elateric Fly Lyre, or, yeah, I assume that's how it's pronounced. Uh, this exquisite instrument is said to come from the shop of the legendary Munshayan Bard Falater. Fewer than 20 of his handcrafted lyres still survive. I'm talking about the, uh, the CLI. I assume that's pronounced Cly. A Glimmergad's Selgaunt Fiddle. The notorious Gnomish Bard Fiddlesticks Glimmergad was said to play violin tunes so sad they made bank guards weep while his accomplices robbed the bank's vaults. Yem Goda's Killat Drum. A 
Lelutian hand drum covered in seal skin. Let those played at Koa Tulit Peace Festivals. Akiyam Goda was famous for his finger thumb pterididdles. The Stoliaroff's table lute. This heavy, deep voice instrument is of the type called a table lute due to its weight. Famously, the late Andrei Stoliaroff refused to let anyone else play it. Okay, Dangerous Tunes and the Escapades of Fundango Gloven. I'll read those. Thank you for coming to my little shop. I hope you have a wondrous day. All right, Dangerous Tunes. This is a popular history of magical song and singing with an emphasis on tunes that ensorcel or entrance their listeners, such as the Chianthar Harpy Siren Song and Glimmergad Stupefying Melancholy. The Escapades of Fandango Gloven. This book is all but crumbled to dust, making it impossible to read. Why is he selling it? And why'd I buy it? Gall and I answer. Alright, so I've got an idea. I go where I'm told. There's no time to waste. Have to keep pushing. Oh man, it's pulling everybody else in. Not the guy that I wanted to move, though. Arrested for theft. If you have a defense, make it now. What are the odds of them peeking in as guys walking in and out of the doors? Um, try to talk your way out of it. This is Shadowheart, so we can deceive. Uh, this item was stolen from me. If you've done your job, I wouldn't need to retrieve it. Oh, so close. We have inspiration. We'll we'll try again. Okay. <laughs> well, that is unfortunate. If your intention was to make things worse, you certainly succeeded. Offer a bribe? Gold may have made your problem go away this time, but next time you won't be so lucky. Honestly, it's just not worth the hassle trying to fight these guys, and they never de-aggro, so. People stop walking in and out of the room, or the building. Step softly. Send those to camp, make it a little easier. Honestly, with all the stuff we're about to steal, we could probably make all that money back, and then some. Yeah, those refugees are walking back outside, and so... Flaming Fist had line of sight on my misdeeds. Stock display, a primer by Santa Aaron. 
extensive primer guides shop owners on how to best display their various products. The pages related to jewelry are earmarked for easy referral. Maxim 1. Space out your wares appropriately, leave no less than the width of a hand between pieces so as not to crowd the eye. Maxim 2. Use light to your advantage. Place gemstones where light shines brightest. The shinier the jewel, the more luxurious it looks. Maxim 3. Group complementary items together. If customers are interested in a ruby ring, they'll be tempted by the ruby amulet you display next to it. Well, maybe. So we check out the hatch next. Let's try this way. You know, I don't know how Mints got in here. He's really stuck in there too. Such authority. Just a little further. So we'll check out the hatch, then after we'll go back into uh, our cat wild shape. Get out of that line of sight. And then try to lure them downstairs. That whole wall just light up. No rest. Be you wicked or something over there. Something indeed. I couldn't have gone worse. Put my paladin on it instead. Interesting. Or not. There we go. I my paladin has some awful, I said awful luck with his uh, charisma checks.
I've read that one before. Music and lyrics, The Power. The Power. Rocky though the road might be, blinding be the sun. Raise your swords and grab your wands, the battle will be won. Champions, cry into the wind, warriors stomp upon the ground. You are the victors true, you are the power. I don't need to disarm this because we already disarmed the tripwire for it. But doing so makes me feel safer, so I'm going to. Here we go. So this is probably trapped. Okay, that's the second time that's happened. With the uh, check upstairs of the Flaming Fist, we rolled two 14s in a row, using up my inspiration. We just rolled two 24s, one, one below the DC. Nothing to it. I saw this uh, plate just a second too late. I think her left foot had just barely stepped on it. Ouchies. Leatherbound book. This book is all but crumbled to dust, making it impossible to read. Like there's a lot of that going around in this building. And a, cl and a clasped book. Same description. Okay.
I don't know if that's supposed to be indicative of something going on here, or... While well, they have so many... ...books in poor repair. Oh, I think that'll do it. So it seems like he doesn't care. Work to be done. I move Sir, yes, closer sir. to being directly underneath him. Yeah, he just doesn't care. Hmm. This world that ends not as bad as it could have. Mind me. Moving in. All right, we'll go back to camp and open up all these chests. First, I'm gonna go read the plaque on the statue. Something over there. Another chest key. Well, we don't need it. No lower city we have a star in back at camp. The statue is of Baldurin, founder of the city, forever looking out to sea. Oh, we just can't read that one. All right, loot string tests. Notes on tests of different materials for loot strings. The prohibition against livestock in the city has always been a nuisance, but the absolute army's interdiction of trade has made the problem critical. In short, where am I to get sheep gut for loot strings? This will be a record of experiments in hopes of finding an available alternative with both good tone and durability. EC. Ratgut. Negative. Too short, not easily processed into fiber, squeaks when played. Human hair. Negative. Poor tone, breaks easily. Peafowl gizzard. Negative. Gross, just gross. Catgut. Negative. Actually better in every way than sheepgut, but sourcing the material in the local neighborhood provokes death threats. So we'll swap out for a star in real quick. <sighs> a little rest to brush the road from Boo's fur, and then back to our adventuring. Truly, but 
You have seen my hamster, yes? Shouldn't show people your hamster on the first date, buddy. Uh, here we stay, then. But if Boo grows restless and chews holes in all your delicates, you only have yourself to blame. Good news is, my delicates hardly have any material to chew holes in, so... Yes? Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Lead on. I don't get too excited. I'm just here to have you lockpick some stuff for me. It was just the four, right? New cards are drawn, hands are played, new powers blaze abroad. Leave a wizard, devil kill, the odds are cast. Symbol. A break. That works. Need something? Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. I guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here while you do all the hard work. It sounds awful. All right, let's destroy some of these chests, hopefully. This one doesn't have a health bar. I assume that if I try to, if it could be broken, and I did, it'd probably just crash the game with all the loot that would explode out of it. You come to speak of the last time Minsk stood watch? The snoring, it was boo. Minsk shall be your shadow. As Boo is his. Alright, we'll knock out this building directly south of us, and then... Head towards the Blushing Mermaid. The Lodge, meeting house of the Society of Brilliance. Uh, hey, we know those guys, or at least some of their members. The Lodge. Launch of the Society of Brilliance. Peer review. Oh, 
We're pleased to inform you that your thesis on the study of the representation of deep gnomes in mid-century drow literature has been approved for publication pending the below changes. The Society of Brilliance. 36 pages of annotations follow. You're not wanted here. I don't know what you think gives you the right to set up shop in our fine city. The Baldur's Gate doesn't want you here. Go back to the Underdark, or the Absolute, or wherever it is you come from. Stop bringing your Mind Flayer nonsense into our city. I'm guessing that's referencing, um... Omeluum? The Mind Flayer that we- oh gosh. The Mind Flayer we met in the Underdark. What a scene. Whoever did this had no rhyme or reason. Just viciousness. Yeah, you don't say. Have Kaleg. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Who killed you? Subject Githlad Pataris. Why were you killed? Careless, skipped, precautionary termination. Where is your killer now? The corpse remains silent. It does not know. What were you doing? Proving theory. Genetic morality. I was right. I wonder if that's tied to the egg that we sold them. Uh, who are you? Havgalag, brilliant researcher, philosopher. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. All right, have Kalag's notes. All of my hypotheses are just that. Theories and no more. Unless I can test them under controlled conditions. I need a viable Githyanki egg. I must acquire one somehow. For have Kalag is not a serious researcher. Just a mere intellectual dilettante. Cautionary notes. Please do not move the painting from the attic. Whoever previously did so, your actions trapped the professor in the hidden room. An experience he's not keen to repeat. And letter concerning... Something over there. Something over there. Raven Hollow. Dearest... Ainrahel? I think you knew this was coming. If you find this note, I've already gone. I tried everything you suggested. But the call of the Graven Hollow Library grew too strong. I know you'll be angry with me, but know that underneath that anger will be worry. But I know underneath that anger will be worry. So I'm writing to tell you, don't worry about me. I trust in the library to guide my way. After all, what better visitor can it have than one whose intent is pure as mine? And what are we if not explorers of the vast knowledge of the Underdark? Oh, how I wish I could have convinced you to come with me. But failing that, know that I am fully intent on returning to you in one piece. I won't ask you to wait for me. I only carry the hope in my heart that you will. With all my love, Dunil. Lodge Dormitory Key. Grab that. Read that before, I'm gonna send that to camp. I guess we'll loot his body next. 
Quarter staff plus two, simple robe. The Paterian Code. The Paterian Code, hit written by Hafkelag. Justice and good above all. Honor and fealty to the king. Honor and respect to righteous innocence. Honor and duty to the balancer Kelimvor. To his mercy, Ilmater. To the justice maker, Bahamut. Honor and protection to the lesser species. Honor and correction to the enemies of justice and good. Honor and forbearance for oneself. Hafkelag's key. I made whiskey. Mermaid's breath. Vision plans for the Sword Coast. I don't know why so many places have that. Dark delicacies, a salve for the homesick, and food for the intellectually curious. Okay, well, I think I'll call it here. Next time, we'll finish exploring. The lodge. And see about making our way towards the Blushing Mermaid. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.